So, unahin natin yung epicsial muscles. So, let's have a review. So, naalala nyo last, from last meeting, we opened this up. Diba? What do you call this? Aponeurosis. Okay. Aponeurosis. Hindi, aponeurosis tanggal na yun. Okay. What do you call this? Shiny. Okay. So, it's the lumbodorsal fascia. So, if we deflect the lumbodorsal fascia, we will see two muscles, di ba? Yung found more medial. Okay, so, ito yung multifidus pinay. Yung nandito sa may vertebra. Okay? Well, ito ay ang sacro spinalis. Okay? So, the good news is in Hyman, it did not mention the OIA of the two muscles. So, okay na siya na-identify nila. Okay? Yes. Next. So, we have to open this muscle. What do you call this? Sagot kayo, ha? <laughs> Latissimus dorsi. Okay. We also deflected this. We should also deflect this muscle. What do you call this? It's the spinal trapezius. Okay. The OIA of those two muscles will be discussed when we discuss it next meeting. Okay. So we deflect it. Ituloy nyo na rin. You also deflect. This is the acromiotrapezius. And this is the clavotrapezius. Okay. Itong tatlong to, clavo, acromio, and spino, trapezius, they collectively make up the trapezius muscle. Okay, so the trapezius muscle has three parts. The clavo trapezius, the acromio trapezius, and the spino trapezius. Okay? And all of those will be deflected to find the inner muscles. Ang kailangan nyo lang gawin is you have to scalpel the mid-dorsal section. Very Uh, carefully diba? isipin nyo lang ganito lang kanipis ang gusto nyo tanggalin okay hindi pa pwedeng malalim na cut kasi masisira itong mga muscles dito sa ilalim okay ganyan lang kanipis yung tinatanggal natin okay so once you have successfully deflected the acromio uh, the trapezius muscles okay let's continue so supposedly meron ditong aponeurosis diba you have to remove it Identify na these are the serratus dorsalis muscles. Okay. Because you need to deflect the serratus dorsalis muscles as well. Okay. Once you have deflected it, makikita nyo na yung tatlong muscles which are actually the continuations of the sacrospinalis in the thoracic region. What do you call this? This is the Semispinalis dorsi. Bakit ito lang sumasagot? Semispinalis dorsi. This is the? Longissimus dorsi. And the iliocostalis muscle. Okay? Ano ba? Hinihiya ba kayo sumagot? Tapos hindi, hindi lang nyo lang talaga naaral pa. Honestly. Anyone? What's the reason? Kasi kailangan nakakasabay kayo. Kung hindi, walang sense yung discussion natin. Okay? Anyway, so, again, what's this? Longismus Dorsi and the Leo Castalis. Okay? Uh, the origin and insertion were also not mentioned, but the action was mentioned. So, the semispinalis dorsi and the lungismus dorsi, dorsi flexes the back. Paano yung dorsi flexes the back? So, it flex. Imagine nyo, pag nag-contract to, mag-gaganon. Dorsal flexion. Okay? However, the iliocostalis has a different action. It is prominent in reptiles because it draws the ribs together. Paano yun? So, gaganon yun. So it's well developed in reptiles Kasi imagine nyo, di ba, ayan yung mga movement Mga lizards and crocodiles Di ba, gusto nila gumaganan yung Sides nila Okay, yung leocostalis 
So now we move further. Okay. So you will see this is the splenius muscle. Okay? It's very thin and para makita niyo kana lang sa kanipis. So you have to deflect the splenius muscle as well. Okay? So looking at its origin and insertion, it originates at the mid dorsal line. Okay? Then it will insert into the superior nuka line. Okay? So ito, splenius originate at the mid dorsal line, then insert to the superior nuka line. Okay? So, its action is it raises or turns the head. So, if you imagine, pag nag-contract to, aangat or magta-turn yung bulo. Raises or turns the head. That's the function or action of the splenius. Okay? Now, if you deflect the splenius, you will see another muscle. So, this is the semispinalis cervicis et capitis. Okay? Ayun na siya. Okay. So this is a semispinalis cervicis et capitis and it can it's made up of two muscles, the biventer in the medial part and the complexus in the Okay, kita niyo ba diyan? Oh, ayan. So this is the splenius. Dineflect natin. Ito collectively is the semispinalis cervicis et capitis. And this is the biventer and this is the complexus. Okay? May, may division dyan. Hindi lang ganun ka prominent. Then, lateral to the splenius, which is this part here. Okay? Ayan. Okay? That is the longissimus. Sumulat ko ba? Hindi pa updated yung aking table. May sinabi si Hyman dito, it's the longissimus Services. Ay, dong si muscapitis. Okay. So that those are the apical muscles. Okay, clear. Okay, sige. Now let's go to the chest muscles. Okay, pa kay balik na nito. Okay. The chest muscle is the easiest region of all because it is primarily made up of four muscles only. Okay. So the thin part here is the siphiumeralis. Okay, this is followed by the pectoralis minor. Okay, ayan yung, ayan yung boundary. Pikita nyo. Okay. Ayan. So ipakiside nga nyo. This is the siphiumeralis. Ayan yung boundary nyo. Then, this is followed by the minor. pectoralis minor. minor. Then, ito yung boundary niya. Okay. Ayan. This is the pectoralis major. major. Then, the, the last one and fourth one is the pecto antibrachialis. It is found above the pectoralis major. Ito. Makita nyo, it's horizontal. Nakikita nyo ba? Okay, so this is the Sifiumeralis Pectoralis minor Pectoralis major and Pecto anti-brachialis So now let's look at the OIA of each So the Sifiumeralis originates From the name itself It originates at the Siphoid process of the sternum Okay Then up to the Ventral side of the humerus Okay. Next, the pectoralis minor originates at the sternum, then inserts at the ventral side of the humerus as well. The pectoralis major originates at the manubrium. I need wait lang. Sternum and major raphae. Okay. Then also inserts at the ventral side of the humerus. So mapapasin nyo, magkakaiba ng origin tong tatlo, but they have the same insertion which is the ventral side of the humerus. So, pag nag-memorize kayo, maganda na nag-aano kayo, tawag dito, 
magawa kayo ng mga groupings. Eh, ito, mga pare-parehas to ng mga uh, origin or parehas to ng insertion para mas madali ma-recall or ma-memorize yung parts. Okay, good luck. So now, let's go to the last one, the pecto antibrachialis. It originates at the manubrium. Okay? Originates at the manubrium, then inserts at the flat tendon on the fascia of the forearm. Okay? So now, for example, let's have a depth exam. Okay. Identify the origin of the pointed muscle. So the answer would be siphoid process of the sternum. Okay? Give the insertion of the following muscle. Flat tendon and the fascia of forearm. So ganun siya sa depth exam. For mga nakapin yung muscles. So hindi enough na alam nyo yung identification. Kasi paano pag yung OIA ang tinatanong. So now let's go for the action. So, ang action nilang lahat ng apat na chest muscles, imagine ninyo pag nag-contract. So, it adducts the arm or it draws the arm towards the chest. Okay? They, they all have the same action. Okay? So, you call that synergistic muscles. Okay? Because they have the same action. So ngayon, na, na, na successfully identified ng apat, you can now scalpel off the mid-ventral uh, line. So you can okay, deflect the chest muscles. Okay? Kailangan nyo siya i-deflect para makita natin yung mga neck muscles. Okay? So now, let's go to the neck region. Okay? So the first muscle that you would observe would be the sternum.